it going? So we're back for day two of Ada. And I decided to do a Michaels kit that I got. It was on sale on Michaels, $10. And I thought it was pretty cool. It's just a simple little kit. It is the leather uh, accessories kit. So it comes in this big box here. It comes with all the stuff. I got it because it's on sale. And plus, I really, really want to do some crafty. I got two kits. I'll do the other one later on in the month. But for right now, let's get to it. So here's all the stuff we have. We have one leather tassel. We have one keychain with clasp. We have one faux leather template. It's like a purse. A small mini purse. We have three full slate threads. We have one keychain. We have one button. We have one of these friendship thread. We have a th glue, a needle. It said it only come with two jump rings, but I have got five. And then the two instruction books. Hi. Okay. Let's get started. So the kit, as you saw, includes two projects. The clutch and the tassel. So, this cute little tassel. So what they tell you to do was roll the tassel up, but when I got it, I was about to do it. So I already rolled the tassel up. So it's good and tight and rolled. Next thing, you want to grab your glue that came in the kit. The instructions said to put the glue in here, so hopefully, oh, okay, it's still good. So, not a lot, but just enough. You want to, I have to roll this back again. I don't know how I did it before, oh my gosh, I did it, okay. And then you just want to shimmy it in here in a way and also what they don't tell you to have is also have a paper towel or a napkin because it can and it will get messy so like literally you want to give me that all right then it said you have to wait until it finished gluing now on the instruction booklet it says you have to wait 120 minutes for it to finally glue and for you to finally put on the sorry I had to wipe my hands because glue came off I put too much <laughs> so after this has officially finished drying completely you could put the keychain on and they gave you so many jump rings they said only two but you can put this. but you just put this on so we're going to let this finish drying and then we're going to move on to the clutch itself now it's not much the first thing you need to do is to sew on the button itself onto the clutch with the friendship the friendship thread and you also have the needle and what else you need is a pair of scissors so you can cut the thread for the needle. So it says here you need about 5 inches of thread. Thread the needle through the hoop. And then tie 3 knots. And to sew on the button, secure the button in place and tie another 3 knots. And you're ready to go. So we'll come back to... After I finish that, I'll come back again. Alright, we're back. So I finished um, sewing on the button. Did a good job. Not too bad. And then the next part. Yay! So the next part you want to do is to get your faux suede thread, as they call it. You want to fold your template here in half so just make sure that the 
holes in the front, measure with the holes in the back. And then we unroll one of these. I'll unroll it right now. I'm trying not to break it because it looked like it could break easily. So, yeah, that's a pretty good long one. So, we unroll one of these. Oh my gosh. We're going to tie it. Okay, there we go. I think I got Okay. So once we do that, we're going to tie, go through one of the, the bottom hole in the clutch, tie one end of this so it won't go all the way through, and then we're just going to start threading it through. But it's going to be looking a little, it's, it's actually quite nice, it's easy and simple. So I'll do one for you right now. So it says to tie one end. I don't know how many. Okay. So it says start looping the cord around the side of the clutch to create a popped out seam. Now there's okay here we go. Yay, let's do it. I don't know how easy it's going to be to thread it through. But. Oh. Okay. You got to put a little pressure when you're pushing it through. Ah, okay. Maybe <laughs> not. Uh, it's actually quite harder than it looks. <laughs> Alright, I got through the first one. I got through the second one. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're on the right track here. So what you do is pull it through. And make sure the knot is at the back of the clutch this is. So I did good on that. Yay. And then to make it be a pop out seam. After you finish threading. You want to go back around. And thread it through again. And you just keep going. Too bad they didn't have. Oh. Oh. I think I got it. No I don't. No I don't. Yeah I got it. Okay. And you just keep going. And going. Until you get done with both sides. And I'm going to finish this up. I just did the first one. So y'all can see. And when I come back, it's going to be all finished. Hi, I'm almost finished with the clutch purse. Oh my goodness, it came out nice. So the last thing we need to do is to put the gold chain on it. The jump rings, you will need two jump rings to get you started here. I almost lost mine. And once you open it up, you put it through the last hole in the purse. And then you just attach the chain. Try not to lose the jump ring. And y'all good. So you do that to both sides. I don't know if it'll be easier for you or not. It's a struggle for me. Okay. There we go. So that is finished. So all we need to do now, buckle it in. Boom! And where am I at that tassel? Well, you could also use a jump ring to attach the tassel to the clip. And once that is, even though it says you wait, I still not waiting. You could just bucket it on. Look how nice it is. The color goes great with it. And that is all there is to this kit. That's it. Cute, right? So more craft videos is coming up, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also right next to the subscribe button is a bell. Hit that notification bell. It'll let you know when I post videos and you can see more stuff. So I'll see y'all royals later. <laughs>